down now in the middle of, as we know, a global pandemic. It is what it is. Um, and I know we have to be very careful the words we use and the language we use with the FTC so that we don't recruit on that. We don't post those words. But guys, a lot of us have been going through a lot. Most everybody has someone that's been affected by this or their possibly their job or their family or their loved ones. I know for me personally, um, this is not something we put on social media. We kind of kept it quiet, but you know, we know we're family in here and all as well. But um, both of my parents um, tested positive for the virus about a month ago. And I had to go through the whole, you know, quarantine thing and not been able to get to them. And then their mid sixties and mo my mother had some, you know, pretty difficult times and we had prayer warriors around the clock. And so I'm here to tell you that I'm not minimizing anything that our nation is, is going through. So please let me preface by saying that. But I do believe that we can still have opportunity. I do believe that we can still uh, claim the promises. I do believe that there is still healing. And I know that in the end, it's ultimately gonna be um, the Lord's will. And it was his will for my um, parents to, to beat that. And they did, I talked to them both today. They were um, able to be back in church and they're fine. And we're so thankful for that. And for you know all the families that may or may not have the you know exact same outcome, I just Want you to know that as I train tonight, I've been in those shoes, so I will not minimize that virus at all. Um, but I will say that as for me and my house, um, I do claim Psalm 91, and I do know that Rodan and Fields is a gift, and I do know that there are 33 million people without a job, and I do know that our doctors have given us a platform. And, and y'all, you know, I, 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 I told Chris, said, What are you doing tonight? I said, well, I'm just going to train just a few, just a minute, and and I'm just going to give some some tips, you know, that are working and how we're growing and some of the things we're doing with with our family, and we're just going to be an open book and and I'll be right off. It won't be long at all. And then when I was getting ready, I you know I just just that still small voice that said, Adrian, that's not you. You know, you are an encourager and you are someone that can cast vision and you believe and you know that there may be somebody on this call that is going through a hard time or this soon. There may be someone that is on the verge of giving up. There may be someone that is considering, you know, is this for me or have I fallen back too far or, you know, what do I do now that my world is upside down? Y'all, we all all have different things going on in our lives. And I never want to be the person that trumps over that or minimizes that. But I do believe with all my heart that Rodan and Fields is a gift. And I'm going to tell you some stories tonight through this, uh, you know, national crisis that we've been under of people that have joined me personally and have grown and have promoted and the things that it has done for them. How I have seen this year in all of my time with Rodan and Fields since August of 2012, this year, have I have seen one of the largest revenue records breaking months this year how this year months this year how this year I have seen people on my team through many 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 generations below me come on board and within eight weeks achieve level five and thirty thousand dollars in volume guys I'm watching all of this I am zoned in and so I had the conversations what are you doing what are you doing and what are you doing and I love to see people succeed and I believe that we are in a special time, a time where we can work alongside our families or alongside of our jobs, and I'm thankful for it, family. And let me tell you something, within saying yes, I met some remarkable people. I met some outstanding leaders. I read about some pretty incredible doctors. I did some research, and y'all, we're going to talk about it tonight. We're going to talk about some things you can be sharing in amidst compliant things you can be sharing. In um, These are public stats in amidst a pandemic of how you can be a light to people of wherever they are. And so my mother finally brought me on. And guys, I have not hushed since. That's what they pick on me about. <laughs> they say I was the hardest nut to crack to date. They say I asked the most questions. I had the most comebacks. <laughs> I was the biggest skeptic, but they said you were worth the wait. I believe that with all my heart, okay, because I've gone on to out earn three of my family members above me. So 
how unbelievable is that? This really was in my best interest. And when you offer this to somebody, you offer them this in full faith of knowing that if they run with this, they can absolutely out earn you because I've proven it and done it and so have many others. But with that being said, I was so close to the opportunity because my husband was sick. My daughter Taylor was nine at the time. I'm sorry, four at the time. My daughter, including benefits and income, uh, benefits and insurance. And on the way to work one morning, a 18 wheeler pulled out in front of him, a speeding train, and it left my husband derailed with the train on fire, with two traumatic brain injuries, post traumatic stress disorder, and such concussions and issues going on, you know, in the cranial area that his doctor was one of the top NFL doctors in the world. He was, when I kept hearing, you know, Rodan and Fields, BBL events, I mean, that was just, you know, mumbo jumbo to me. And I kept saying, I cry every day in the bathtub. We don't have any insurance. I don't have any money. I can't even afford skincare myself. You're talking to the wrong girl. How am I going to go, you know, cast this great vision when I myself am on food stamps? I want to be I want to be authentic. I want to be real. I'm not the girl for the job. And my mother kept pursuing me in love. And she kept saying, Adrian, you know who these doctors are. You know how you love them and their products through as a teenager. And I know that's a separate company and we're not building off of that, but I'm telling you my personal story. And my mother said, Adrian, you need to jump in and you need to put your head down and you need to get to work. And I said, well, mama, I don't have much to offer. And I may get a little bit emotional tonight, guys. I hope it's okay because I care about people. I know how hard my mother had to work for me. And I want to encourage you, if you're having to work hard on somebody, don't you feel bad for picking up that phone and trying again. Don't take no for an answer if you know that changing that no to a yes can change everything for that family. And how in the world are you going to honestly be thinking about, you know, other children? I mean, I had imminent problems. So if you're doing right and it feels to put food on your table, that's okay. Put the food on your table. Do the things that your, families need, your family needs. It's okay to reward you with something. And I'm here to tell you, if you work really hard, these doctors will reward you more. You won't even have, you know, you won't even have to go buy those high ticket items. Katie and Kathy have got it lined up for you if you do the work. And then if your heart is like mine and my family's, you then begin to put your eyes on other people and you think, how can we help? How can we make them see that we are normal people, but that we don't switch from opportunity to opportunity. We don't go from left to right. We don't panic if business goes up hundreds of thousands like it did one certain month this year. And we also don't panic in any business if there may be a deal. We all know there are seasons of business. One of my favorite is Gucci, guys. Gucci formed in 1921, and it's basically a 99-year-old brand now, one of the top brands in the world. And if you study them as I do at your 75, they were about to close the doors. Thank goodness they had longevity. And, you know, a lot of the most you know, the most valuable things in the world today are some of the oldest, some of the oldest company. How in the world are you going to honestly be thinking about, you know, other children? I mean, I had imminent problems. So if you're doing right and it feels to put food on your table, that's okay. Put the food on your table. Do the things that your families need, your family needs. It's okay to reward you with something. And I'm here to tell you, if you work really hard, these doctors will reward you more. You won't even have, you know, you won't even have to go buy those high ticket items. Katie and Kathy have got it lined up for you if you do the work. And then if your heart is like mine and my family's, you then begin to put your eyes on other people and you think, how can we help? How can we make them see that we are normal people, but that we don't switch from opportunity to opportunity. We don't go from left to right. We don't panic if business goes up hundreds of thousands like it did one certain month this year. And we also don't panic in any business if there may be a deal. We all know there are seasons of business. One of my favorite is Gucci, guys. Gucci formed in 1921, and it's basically a 99-year-old brand now, one of the top brands in the world. And if you study them as I do at your 75, they were about to close the doors. Thank goodness they had longevity. And, you know, a lot of the most 
you know, the most valuable things in the world today are some of the oldest, some of the oldest companies. I want you to recommit to the reason you join this company. I want you to recommit to the reason that you began. Your goals on paper, whatever they are, whatever you need, even if you've sat down, even if you've been discouraged, we don't need a new opportunity. We need a new recommitment, okay? I always say any team in place is where you need to put your work in, right? You have to love people. And I believe when the pressure comes down is when the truth comes out of who people are. Your core inner being will come out. Is it all about you? Or are you here as a servant and a leader for your team through the ups, through the downs, through the good and through the bad? Because here's what I know. Nobody in our country expected this. And there's a lot of people that have it a lot worse than we do. 30, here's you some talking points. 33 million people right now have lost income. One out of six businesses where people walk through the door have closed. Guys, this has been a surge of revenue um, for the skincare market. It really has. I've researched it across the board, even in retail settings, skincare is up. Pandemics or recessions, they have always, um, I would say more so recessions we haven't seen a pandemic like this since 1918, but with the Spanish flu. But with that being said, you know, Rodney Fields was born in a recession. We know what happens when the economy falls and people get to work and they, you know, seize and go after all that we have to offer. And I believe that more now than ever, we can let people know it's not about wanting to quit your job, but it is about having a career insurance where if your job quits you, or if your hours are cut, or if you're a teacher that's sent home, or if you're wor worked in surgery and elective surgeries have been cut out, this is a safety net. You know, people have proven what you can do here. Listen, people hate to be sold to, but people love to buy. You know, when people say, you know, I hate to sell stuff or I hate to show her this or that, I'm like, I don't understand that. I love to shop. I love for people to show me stuff. Listen, if you have something beautiful, show me. <laughs> You know, I love earrings. I love home decor. You know, that's just the way that I am. What happens when the economy falls and people get to work and they, you know, seize and go after all that we have to offer. And I believe that more now than ever, we can let people know it's not about wanting to quit your job, but it is about having a career insurance where if your job quits you, or if your hours are cut, or if you're a teacher that's sent home, or if you are wor worked in surgery and elective surgeries have been cut out, this is a safety net. You know, People have proven what you can do here. The doctors have proven, you know, all that, that so many statistics that I, that I know that are privy information, but I'll just say this, Rodan and Fields sets the bar in earnings, Rodan and Fields sets the bar in integrity, Rodan and Fields sets the bar. I have had people that are not even affiliated in network marketing, but they consult for multiple companies that have told me when you look at the inner workings of our company, that we are one of, or they actually said the most um, respected, esteemed, ran the right way, um, compliant across all boards of anything out there. Listen, people hate to be sold to, but people love to buy. You know, when people say, you know, I hate to sell stuff or I hate to show her this or that, I'm like, I don't understand that. I love to shop. I love for people to show me stuff. Listen, if you have something beautiful, show me. <laughs> you know, I love earrings. I love home decor. You know, that's just the way that I am. <laughs>